What's up everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see, I am currently driving, um, looking at the road, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, I am on my way out of Flagstaff right now, heading back home. Um, today is the start of me and my dad's 2023 Mexico coos deer hunt. So yeah, uh, this is gonna be a trip of a lifetime for me and my dad, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, this is just the beginning, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I was driving out of. I mean, Flagstaff is covered in snow right now. So yeah, but uh, trip starts tomorrow. We're driving down, so I'll keep you updated along the way. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited. So stay tuned. At the very end, I told Andrew last time. All right, well, we're about just to Tucson, and uh, unfortunately, a little, a little bit of a delay. Flat tire, got it just on time, but we'll uh, we'll fix it up and be back on the road here pretty soon. So, good start. Got her fixed. Let's get back on the road. Next stop is the border. Going to town. All right, well, after a long, long day of driving, we're finally in Hermosillo. Uh, we got one truck loaded up right there, second truck over there. Just made a quick pit stop at one of the houses, got everything loaded up. Uh, we're about an hour out from the ranch right now. So uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take another update when we get to the ranch, but it's about, I don't know, 2.30 right now. So uh, definitely been a long travel day, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you back when we get back to the ranch. Hi, you stop. All right, well, as you can see, uh, we didn't actually end up making it to the ranch. Uh, we made a quick pit stop, ate some food, um, some amazing seafood, as you can see, some octopus, shrimp, and scallops. Um, in town in Hermosillo, um, now we are on our way out of town, uh, picking up some last minute um, drinks and snacks at the gas station. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll be hitting the ranch here probably in about an hour and a half, two hours or so. Um, and uh, we'll be driving in the dark, so we probably can't get any hunting in tonight, but that's all right. Got three full days ahead of us now, and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys back when we hit the ranch. So uh, yeah, see you then. All right, so finally pulled into the ranch. It's about 9.30 now. Um, just got our bed set up. You can kind of see. Um, I'll give everybody a big tour tomorrow, um, but it's kind of late, so... We're gonna eat some dinner, um, probably have a couple drinks, sit around the fire, and uh, yeah, wake up tomorrow and we've got an exciting day. So uh, yeah, this has been the end of day one. Okay, we got here on Wednesday night. We spent quite a few more hours in Hermosillo than what we thought, but we're here at the ranch. Can't see anything, but I will give you a tour of what we found. This is the, like, the little veranda with Shed's all hanging up in it. And then we'll go back. This is the ranch house that we're staying at. And I'll show you the accommodations. This is the day room. And then the kitchen. There's one. Comfy, cozy, comfy, cozy. Bathroom, showers, toilet. Da -da -da -da. Pretty simple, pretty, pretty warm. <clears throat> awesome, awesome. And you wait till you see it in the light. We'll see you tomorrow. Buenos dias. It's 6.30 right now, day two. Uh, opening morning right now. We are loading up the truck and about to hit the glassing spot. I don't know if you could tell. Sun's coming up on the ranch. And uh, yeah, we're about to go hit a glassing spot and uh, see what we can find. But we're excited. We're a long time coming. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can find today. Yeah, I want to leave that area over there for...
whole reason the ranch is here. Down the cattle. Watch that one, Juan. Still riding on the high rack. Trying to find somewhere to glass. We stopped the truck because we saw something underneath the tree. Eric? Yeah, um, you could look on the other side of him. The coyotes started to get at him, but there's a bullet hole. And uh, yeah, he was laying dead under the tree and someone killed a little tiny buck and I don't know, that's, that's bizarre. That's it is. messed up. That's messed up, yeah. Seriously. I mean, like either either he literally got shot from right there or he got shot and ran away. But I mean, that's a 22 caliber. Literally, or like something yeah. very, very tiny. It probably got some vital organs there and run away a little bit. I bet it. But I mean, yeah. he's stiff. So, I mean, but with that much eaten out of him and the fact that he's like not gross. Probably yesterday. I mean, literally not more than 24 hours. I mean, he's kind of cool in the shade, but yeah. not more than a day. I mean, if it's stiff, that's because yeah, he'd probably stiff. spend the night. Yeah, but, well, first antlers of the trip. All right, everybody, back for another midday update. We're back at the ranch, it's probably 12.30 now. Um, as you saw from that video that my dad took, we uh, found that buck, the little guy, kind of sad. Just jumped a group of deer a little earlier and found a shed of deadhead. Pretty sweet buck. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a tour of the ranch here in a minute during the daytime. But uh, yeah, back at the ranch, nothing killed yet. Saw a good handful of deer and uh, yeah, ready to get some food and head out this evening. So what's up? It's currently five o'clock and on our last little drive of the night. Right, well, back at the ranch, um, the uh, the gray ghost lived up to its name. We uh, <clears throat> walked all around that agave field and never could find him again. I mean, we only ever saw him for a minute or two while glassing. So, uh, yeah, um, gonna rest up and have some dinner and have a couple drinks and yeah. So we'll uh, we'll get right back to it in the morning. Might get some more clips of the night just of the meal and everything, but. Yeah, day one or day two complete first day hunting and uh yeah we'll uh we'll get right back to it tomorrow. One of the new uh friends we've made here at the ranch. There's two of them. He's so pretty. Look at him. We're gonna eat tomorrow. morning it is the morning of day three now second day of hunting and uh we're about to head out it's about 6 30 now um about to go sit in glass the same agave fields we ended in last night uh slept great had a good shower last night and uh yeah we're ready to uh hit the hills today and hopefully we can turn up a buck or two uh, we got three tags to fill still so uh yeah we got a lot of work cut out for us but uh yeah here's the start of day three Those hills behind me, uh, but yeah, 
I've seen a couple deer just for a split second in this brush. And, uh, yeah, get back to it. Well, not five minutes after I took that video. We uh, spotted some deer in the road way down there. So they're like six or seven hundred yards down that way. Um, we're gonna just, I don't know, go check it out. See what they are. But uh, these things are ghosts, man. I mean, we saw that deer for about ten seconds before it disappeared back into the brush. So it's kind of just a Hail Mary, but we'll see what we see. Uh, quick update. We came down to that spot where those does were. And we bumped a couple deer out. But in country like this, it's just so thick. We just saw their tails run away, but we're walking back to the road. We got a message from Juan saying that there's a buck in one of the roads, so just made it to the road. We're gonna see where he is. Well, back at the truck, um, mobbing through the uh, cow pastures and I mean, as much of a road as you could call it. Um, never ended up seeing those deer again, or the bucks. Um, but the desert out there is just so, so thick. Um, but we are headed kind of back towards the ranch. And uh, we're gonna try and make a better plan for this afternoon. But yeah, so far we've found the deer, found the bucks. Now we just gotta, now we just gotta shoot one. So yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll uh, catch you back after lunch. You, you'll take all right we're back out for the afternoon in a new spot up in the hills a little bit before we're climbing i'm gonna go glass this looks really good we got someone coming in and hopefully we can find some more deer but afternoon of day two let's get it Well, I realized I never made an update after that last one hiking up the hill, uh, but we uh, hiked around all up the top and into the valleys and stuff all around um, that area we went in the afternoon uh, and never never actually saw another deer. Um, the guys we were with saw like one or two other ones top out over the other direction, but yeah, it's uh, it's been a grind for sure. Um, but I think we have a pretty good area picked out for tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we're tired and hiked out and man, but sitting by the fire. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, catch you guys in the morning. Uh, maybe get some clips of dinner and stuff. But yeah, end of day two, hunting, end of day three officially. So yeah, it's been fun so far. It's been an experience. Um, definitely, you know, with the, with the food and you know, the, the music as you can hear. But uh, yeah. This country is really, really thick. It's really tough to find deer. So, yeah, we'll uh, catch you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, crew. It is the morning of day four, day three of hunting. Um, as you can see from that dinner we had last night, Everybody was uh, everybody was tired and drinking a little bit, so we got a little bit of a late start this morning. Um, it's really overcast, as you can tell, um, so that's kind of good. But um, while we're waiting for the rest of the guys to get up and start getting ready, um, I'm gonna go take a walk out by the agave fields and uh, just I don't know, see what I see. Um, but yeah, we got one more full day today. Maybe the morning tomorrow to go hunt. And uh, yeah, we got still three tags to fill. And uh, we're excited. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see what we see today. Hopefully, we're just hoping for an opportunity at this point. So 
yeah, I'll uh, see what I see on this walk. And then we're gonna go out to the edge of the property and hike into a new spot that we haven't been yet. So yeah, I'll catch you later. All right, everybody, it's about 9.30 right now. We just did a huge loop in the truck on the neighboring ranch. Didn't see anything. And uh, we came back to the exact same spot where we took that hike yesterday. Um, we kind of nicknamed it the Red Hill. If you can kind of see the dirt up there, kind of red. Anyway, we stopped up on top and we're just kind of figuring out our next plan of action. And uh, sure enough, I was sitting in the truck and I looked down in the, in the road and there was a deer coming up the road. There's a buck I saw right away. Loaded the gun and got set up. And uh, he he was just walking and in and out of brush and just barely saw him. And he jumped the fence and uh, was sitting on this side of the road. And uh, just as soon as he cleared the brush, I took a shot at him. Um, didn't hear it hit, didn't see him react. And uh, I didn't even range it at first, but my dad ranged it. It was like 600 yards. Um, and, uh, with, <clears throat> with a rifle that doesn't have like a turret scope or whatever, just kind of a shot in the dark. So we can't, walked over here and we really can't find track, but I mean, we didn't see any blood or deer's not laying here. So we might go walk around a little bit, see if we can jump them again. But that was the, uh, first shot of a, at a buck this weekend. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of a long one, but kind of a Hail Mary shot, but it's a start for today. So it's uh nice and overcast and uh we'll see if we can turn up some more today so wish us luck yeah Well, checking back in, it's currently one o'clock. <clears throat> we parked the truck up on a hill after we drove quite a ways through some nasty country and just decided to hike into an area that we thought looked pretty good. There's some grassy hills like this all around. Haven't seen any more deer today. Um, in fact, that buck is still the only deer that we've seen today. Um, the ranch is over there, that mesa right there just on the back side of that. So we got another mile or so. We got to hike to a pickup spot where Juan's gonna go pick us up. But yeah, it's uh, with the weather and everything today, it's been really slow. It's, we're kind of surprised, honestly, but I don't know. It's been a grind and we'll see what tonight and possibly tomorrow mor morning turns up. Um, if anything else cool happens today or this afternoon, I'll take some more videos of it. But yeah, it's been tough for sure, but man. Reload. Still sitting there. Still sitting there. I didn't see any deer move. You still got him? You still see him? Just a doe. Okay, I didn't hear anything. Did you, where, where did you shoot at the buck? Back of his head. And? I don't know. Okay, well, let's go up there and see what we got. We did or whatever. And then these antlers like come up and like <laughs> fucking look at us. And, and Derek's like, Derek's like, there's antlers, antlers, antlers. He got down back on the scope and hit him. 
and then he's like, what's that? And then the second one, I know I hit him. Like he was, he was looking here and I put and him right under that white oh, so spot. So it was the second one. I, th a, I mean, it was the third I don't know shot. how I missed the first one either. It was the know. third shot. But yes. I think after, he got a buck down. After he's... Derek shot the key, that, that. Sorry, you I think he's up there. I can see the bushes going like this. Really? You, so you got it? Oh yeah, he's got 12. Okay. All right, well. We're walking up. We think we got it done. We think we put a, I think we put a hole in that thing. I heard the thwack and then, and then I, uh, I saw the bush shake and, then, and it, obviously it's so freaking thick back here. You can't see anything. So the deer disappeared, but we're pretty sure he got, ah, ah, we're pretty sure he got dead. What the hell? These oh. fucking vines, bro. Step over it. Wait. I see. I see. I think I see something. Yeah, I see something. I see him. No, that's a rock. Never mind. Left, he's saying left. Left, left. No, that's. Right. He's saying left. You were, you were doing a right. It's left of the big top of the No, that's a rock. Yellow what? Yellow grass. Yellow grass? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, it's a bad thing. Wait. Left. Oh yeah, up, up, up some more. Where? She was standing right here, right? Right there, he's standing right there, he's dead. He's dead! He's dead! He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Oh Derek, Nick. Derek, Nick. Well, what do we got? After three, this is the end of the third day of a lot of work. Three and nine tenths days. Three and, yeah, fourth and ten tonight. Um, Dad spotted this buck up on the side of the hill. The truck's over there, if you can see it from here. Truck. And uh, he was on the sticks first because I had missed a buck this morning. And uh, he, I was assume it's the same buck, shot through a very small opening. And uh, we didn't see anything, couldn't see anything. And the, uh, the doe stuck around that he was with. And uh, she didn't really know what was going on. So we didn't know if he'd hit him or not. And uh, I just got on the rifle for, I don't know, I kind of feel bad about it. But I got on the rifle just to see what the doe was like. And probably five minutes, ten minutes, maybe later after Dad shot the first time, he finally came back. He came out from back here. I just saw the antlers coming through the trees. Got right back on the gun, um, and I shot once. And I don't know what happened the first time, or if I've whatever. And that is the second shot. I would assume. I can't tell. I don't know. I don't know. Is that a bullet hole? I don't know. Well, maybe you just scared him to death. I don't know, but that, that you could not ask for a better end to a trip that, than a buck like that. That is gorgeous. A gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous buck. Mexico coos deer. That's a shooter. Thanks to oh, yeah. day one. <laughs> Shout out to Juan and for all the help. Yeah, hey. no kidding. Juan, yeah. just like if it was mine, man. Oh. Man. I'm so happy. This was a team effort. Everybody oh, everybody yeah. worked their ass off to spot <laughs> yeah, and drive. But it is Saturday, January 28th, 2023. Out here in, uh, I don't know what exactly town it is. I'll call it Hermosillo, Mexico. And uh, yeah, this is the first, hopefully not the last, but the first buck of the, of the 2023 trip. 
Um, we're, we haven't ranged it yet. I'd guess it's probably about a 120, 130 yard shot. Just a, just a crazy series of events. Um, Dad missed the first time and somehow I ended up on the rifle and when he stepped out after waiting for his doe, I shot him the second time um, and uh, pretty much dropped him. He didn't, he fell right where he was standing, but just an absolute gorgeous buck. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mexico 10 pointer. Um, and uh, wow, this has been an amazing trip. And uh, I couldn't have asked for a better deer to cap it off. This was really a team effort. Everybody worked uh, driving and glassing and hunting and shooting and Oh, this special is, thanks to special thanks Juan to and Juan and yeah, Gabriel. This is, Ga oh yeah, my Gabriel God. And this has been this has been an this has been a trip of a lifetime and uh, it's all yeah, worth it now. It's all uh, finally came together. The food was awesome and the deer is even it's better. Awesome. Um, definitely, uh, this is like the second buck that I've laid eyes on this whole trip. Uh, I missed one this morning at about five six hundred yards. Um, and uh, after that, the uh, spirits were definitely down. Um, it's getting, you know, you get a little frustrated not, not finding deer, not finding bucks. But man, everything came together for one split second and finally worked out and everything finally paid off. So uh, yeah, here's to 2023. Hopefully it's a great year and this is an amazing start with an absolutely gorgeous buck. So yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Did you leave anything? Uh, oh, wait, nope. Yeah. Nope. nope. All good. Gabriel the deer wrangler. <laughs> wow. wow. Last sunset in Mexico. How far last little evening drive? Let's see if we can find another deer. Probably wake up in the morning and go for a little hour or two, but that's about all she wrote. So we'll see what happens. But great though. Morning everybody, it's Sunday morning here, and uh, I realized I never made an update last night after we came back from that drive, um, but honestly I was just kind of, we were too busy and we had to deal with, you know, skinning, gutting, and uh, taking care of the meat and the head of that whole deer. Um, we skinned him out, caped him out, I'll show you that in a little bit, but for now, got him right here. Um, man, he's so cool, he's got this little crab claw, and uh, Wow, just an amazing buck. So we gotta boil him out a little bit more so we can take him across the border. We gotta take care of the cape. Um, but yeah, it's Sunday morning. We're heading out, we're heading out today, making our way out of here. But um, yeah, what an amazing end of the trip. And uh, I uh, realized I didn't do a very good job last night, but like I said, I was really busy. So we'll, uh, we'll get situated here, head out, and whatever else I filmed today should be pretty cool. But um, Man, five days here, and uh, this was an experience I'll never forget, and we get to take home that guy right there. So, yeah, I'll uh, catch you later today. Well, in all his glory, here he is caped out. We're just cleaning him up to take him across the border, but... Yeah, never done this before by ourselves. So it was interesting to learn how to do all of it. But yeah, there he is, almost done here today. We got, we got uh, route. Made it to the border, we're gonna have to get checked probably. And uh, yeah, we'll be home in about two and a half hours, three hours. 
It's almost done. All right, how's it going, everybody? Thanks for watching the video. Uh, I realized that right after I finished that clip at the border, I never made another update video when I got home. Uh, it was just, you know, eight hours of driving and travel all day on Sunday. It was just took a lot out of me, and I had to wake up early the next morning and drive right back up to Flag, right back up to Flagstaff, which is where I am now currently, uh, about a week later. Um, just got through editing the video, and uh, I, I'm really happy with it. I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, you know, wish I would have had more clips of like actual live deer or animals except for cows, but we never had the chance to even like observe a deer for more than a couple of minutes other than the one that we shot. So that was for 20 minutes and I was more focused on just actually getting one down after not having an opportunity all week than, than filming it. I got dad shot, but he didn't get mine, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, dropped him off at the taxidermist the other day and got to keep his head. So I'll... Uh, I'll update that maybe in the way, way future when I get him back. But yeah, um, this was a trip that I will remember for a very long time. Uh, the food, the family, or the, you know, friends we made, everything. Uh, if they actually get to watch this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Juan, uh, uh, Tito, the ranch manager, and our cowboy Gabriel. Um, they were a huge help this week, and it was a trip that I know me or my dad will never forget, and hopefully we get to repeat uh, every year from now on, you know, something coos deer, mule deer, something down to Mexico. Um, to make this an annual trip would be something that I would really look forward to. But yeah, thanks for watching uh, the rest of 2023. Hopefully we have a couple more tags rolling in or some other cool videos I can make. Uh, but this one was definitely uh, probably one of my favorites, and I hope that you guys thought the same. So uh, until then, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, see you next time.